Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Monday Season 2015. It's the final stage of the World Cyclist of Catalonia, from Barcelona to Barcelona. And of course we are currently tied for first, we are actually second, but we have the same time as Chris Fuhrman first with Jorge Rodriguez. So whoever ends up first of those two riders will win the overall. It'll be a very, deci very deciding and exciting final stage. We can count out Contador either, he's only about 30-40 seconds after us. Second will, will try and battle off Hissidal and Tom Dumoulin for 5th place, so there's still a lot to uh, be working for here in the final stage. Let's get into it and check out the final climb. Okay, last 18 kilometers of the race now. 8 men breakaway in front, I think they'll probably take the stage between them. Kellerman, Cataldo, some pretty big names up here, Not, nothing like a whole Kreuzvig, Kellerman, could trail. Uh, Spatling for the Mountaineers, I don't know if he's been trapped from the front group, he probably has. Otherwise it's pretty weird that he's right here. But I have Sagrin. I'm going to use all power today to win the stage with Rodriguez. Uh, not win the stage, but just beat Froome. Froome is right here, it's going to be a battle between two of us. We have the exact same time after six stages. So whoever finishes the best, I just need to finish in front of Froome and not let it all away. It's a really tough stage, so everything here is going goes by really fast, so the, the descent after the top of the climb is nothing more than 3-4 kilometers long. It isn't that long at all, it's about one and a half kilometer flat road at the end. So I'm going to put Rodriguez at 90-95 on this climb once it really starts. You can see the, bit of, the little red bit before the top of the climb. That is the, the point where I'm going to make my move. And see, here comes a little climb here, but such a small one. Kienga, Roach, Pearls, Boswell, Froome, Sky has a lot of riders. They also have John Thomas and Michael Nieve. It's an all-star team. Silbert, I don't care about Silbert. I don't care about Hesse, I don't care about Rabolin. I don't care about Dumoulin. I don't care about Chavez. I don't care about Contador and Froome. Sagan will probably lose a lot of positions today, but it doesn't worry me whatsoever. Bit of a downhill section right here. There goes Contador. Okay. Froome's train start here. Yes, he six Sky Riders in front here. Then comes two Orca. Uh, three Orca Greeners Rider right with Simon Jones, probably as the captain. Chavez is here. And Berlin's falls back and here goes um, my attack this is where I have to make my move because there's only 5 kilometers to, to go Sagrin can I just get a gap to cut it all? I'm up to the main group here I think Sky working really hard here for I don't care about Sagrin either So 34 man main bunch, I'll try to lead out into this group here. Okay, Froome is a bit further back, but there's not a lot to go. Rodriguez, Hesedal, Kajenka, Sagrin is in front here, but he's actually more blocking Froome off. I don't care if I lose the stage to Hesedal, I'm looking at Froome here. He can't beat me, I'm go I, I think I won this. I don't care about the overall victory, I think Hesedal will win this stage. Oh, I think Hesedal is stronger than Kierjenka is. Actually, am I going to win the stage as well? I am going to win the stage as well, I think. So... This is a great result, Sigrin. I don't actually think he'll lose his 4th place pin, so this is a great... Yeah, it's Hesedal, it's not Dumoulin. A great overall performance here from the entire team. Sagrin really helping. Rodriguez up on the climb and Rodriguez just taking it under this descent here. Froome couldn't keep up, only Hissedal and Kierinka was able to follow him. So nice win overall. This gives us the overall victory of the Vuelta Ciclista Catalonia to, to Team Cattuccia and Joaquin Rodriguez. This is his race and he always ends up in one of the best positions here. Great performance overall. I'm really happy about the way the result ended up today. But yeah, let's take a look at the final standings of the race. So the final result were as follows, we actually did not getting a time gap between Kienka and Silbert, which I definitely think there was, but it doesn't matter because I won the stage, gets bonus seconds plus I ended up better than Froome, which puts me 
as the winner of the overall race again takes fourth place after holding the jersey for the first three or four stages so really great team performance team completion we actually end up first sky where all the casting up at the end uh, and the first couple of stages are getting a lot of time because of Sagrin when the last couple of stages I pretty much sacrificed it everybody so that ends up being a lot closer but we still took the win overall there as well young riders mind yes we didn't have anybody here apart from Mamikin and he was uh, sacrificed early on every stage points we actually end up winning this as well uh, just beating out to the band who end won a lot of stages Mount Jersey I don't think we won this and uh, nope Cartel, who's on the breakaway a lot of days, took 12 points a day and overtook Contador, who won the Mount Jersey before the, the Red Jersey, as you probably saw before today. Uh, Richie Port in third, and I ended up fourth, so pretty good there as well. But well, of course, we can see it here. I ended up winning in front of Froome, Contador in third, second, fourth, Dumoulin fifth, Hesselan in sixth, Fablin in a great performance, took seventh place, Chibar managed eighth, Domenico Pozzolivo in ninth place, and Esteban Chavez rounds out the top 10. Great race overall, I really enjoyed it because there's so many exciting stages to do, but that's it for today and if you enjoyed it please remember to leave a like and a comment uh, what you thought about the entire series here and the entire race and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for more exciting videos. See you guys next time, goodbye.